Let's solve this logarithmic equation, and we have to make sure we check our answers. Step one is to write all the logarithms as a single logarithm. We have two logarithms on the left. We should combine those with our sum to product rule. This will be log of x plus 2 times x minus 1. We multiply those insides. Now we can undo the logarithm by rewriting this in the exponential form. What would happen, since log really means base 10, we're exponentiating both sides here. We sort of just put a 10 here and a 10 here acting as the new base. Log base 10 and 10 go away. What we're left with on the left is just x plus 2 times x minus 1. On the right hand side, 10 to the first, that's simply 10. We've reduced our logarithmic equation to a quadratic equation, which we know how to solve. Let's distribute everything on the left. If we do that, x times x is x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. This equals 10. Moving everything to the left-hand side and combining like terms, we'd have x squared minus x plus 2x is 1x. Minus 2 minus another 10 is minus 12. And now we can factor. Two numbers, which multiply to negative 12 and add to positive 1, I think plus 4 minus 3 will do it. Their product, minus 4 times minus 3 is negative 12, minus 3 plus 4 is 1. Now that we've factored this into linear equations, we can get our solutions. x equals negative 4 from this first linear factor, and x equals positive 3 from this second linear factor. Now are we done? No, we have to check these answers. We have to plug in negative 4 and 3 into the original equation. And 3 is fine, no problems there, but if we plug in negative 4, well, we would be taking the log of a negative. That would be log of negative 5 if we were to plug in negative 4, and that's not allowed. We can't take logarithms of negative numbers, so negative 4 is a so-called extraneous root. We throw it away. Our only answer is x equals 3.